Welcome back to the YouTube channel guys. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Sabrent 4 port USB 3.0 hub with individual LED power switches. Before jumping straight into that review I just would like to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet please do. I would appreciate that more than you know. Okay guys, so in today's review I want to start with why. Why would you need a device like this? Well, as you know, whether it's your PC, your PlayStation, your Xbox, or whatever device it is, sometimes it can get a little bit tight on space, especially if you're plugging in the likes of microphones, external monitors, as well as webcams, maybe Bluetooth receivers, all that kind of stuff takes up valuable USB ports. A lot of PCs and a lot of custom made PCs especially only have a couple of USB ports maybe for your uh, keyboard and your mouse and things like that. So this is why you would need a product like this and why you've probably already Googled it or searched for it on Amazon. With this 4 port USB 3.0 hub, what it does is it instantly lets you add four USB ports to any compatible device. That's any device that's compatible that has a USB port in it. Not only that, but when you have it plugged in and you have other USBs plugged into that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's on or it's off. So guys, when you plug this USB hub into your PC or your device, not only are you getting four more ports, but what you're getting is full control of those ports because each of them comes with an on off switch. And you'll know if it's on if a blue LED appears and you'll know if it's off if there's no LED. So it's completely up to you. You can have your whole setup plugged in all the time and wired up so you don't have to plug things in and out constantly and have full control with the click of a button whether you want this on or off. For example, I leave my keyboard, my mouse and my webcam constantly in, but for most of the time my microphone is switched off because I'm using a headset or something else like that. But when I log on to uh, create a video or do a voiceover like this, I can simply press that blue LED button and the microphone turns on. This particular hub supports transfer speeds up to 5 gigabytes per second if it's a USB 3.0 or 480 megabytes per second if it's a USB 2.0 or 12 megabytes per second if it's a USB 1.0. It is, of course, reverse compatible with those older USBs, so if you have older devices, do not fear. Uh, it's really easy setup, no real installation, just plug and play. As you can see, it has a thin, lightweight design that makes the 4-point USB 3.0 hub a great travel companion to expand your laptop's USB 3.0 port into 4. As I mentioned earlier, it's fully backwards compatible with USB 2.0 and 1.0. And to stress it once more, each port has a power switch allowing for individual port control so you can leave everything plugged in but it will still be switched off if you wish. With SuperSpeed USB 3.0 you can now transfer data 10 times faster than the older USB 2.0 standards. Now I have had my fair share of USB hubs, in fact here's another one I have and the far right you'll actually see one of these LEDs is red when you turn it on. That port is specifically for charging. All of the others are not for charging, they're simply just for powering devices. That is the case with this 4 port USB 3.0 hub as well. This is not going to charge your device, it's just going to supply power to your devices. If you're on Windows 2000 XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or Windows 10, you should be absolutely fine with this port. Mac OS 9.1 and higher and Linux 2.4 or above. Those are your system requirements for this Sabrent 4 port USB 3.0 hub with individual LED power switches. I've probably spent too much time on this video already as it stands. Um, if it, whether, it, whether or not it gets the thumbs up or thumbs down from me, it's definitely a thumbs up. I like how it looks, I like the color, I like the color of the LED switches when they're on, when they're off. This looks right at home at the back of my PC, stuck on the side of my PC or even inside in the PC. Guys, hopefully this video was helpful, hopefully I've informed your buying decision somewhat that you have decided to go ahead and purchase this or you've decided to go ahead and purchase something better that you're looking at at the moment. That's completely up to yourself, I'm just here to help. There will be a link to the product in the description of this video. While you're scrolling down, why not click on that subscribe button and join the Nighttime Entrepreneur family. That's all from me for now, please do keep an eye out for the next video by subscribing and clicking on that bell notification. Hoping you and yours have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.